Good morning everyone, Bryant Cook here and today we are playing Popper Cycling Storm in the Sunday Popper Challenge. I recorded a video with this on Friday and well not this, a variation of this deck and I was so excited about the success of this list that I wanted to try it again today but we're going to expand on the idea from Friday's video which would go live Monday uh, but Today's Sunday, we're just going to focus on today's deck list. And the idea was that Exhum was super good with Repository Scob. And in fact, I couldn't contain my excitement when I got to do it. It was so powerful. So today, we're going to try Exhum in the main deck over Mystical Teachings to help uh, expand on the idea of Repository Scob. So where did these slots come from? Well, we added a second Scob over the uh, Blood Celebrant. Hold on, hear me out. And then we added in two Exhum over the Mystical Teachings. And the idea is that with Exhum, you don't necessarily need Blood Celebrant in order to win the game. I could be entirely wrong, but we get this backup plan of just beating in with Striped Riverwinders or Horror of the Broken Lands while being super powerful mid combo. Once again, we don't have Blood Celebrant today. So we're going to see how that works. And yeah, so uh, I will see you in match number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out the epicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Line, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for 7 tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us, just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Alright, match number 1. We're on the Dragon's Thalia Go who's wasted 7 minutes of their clock and now here we are. I'm gonna keep this. The Ash Barons can go get a Swamp, which would be delightful, and then this hand is pretty stacked otherwise. Mountain, okay. And Burn. Okay, uh, not a matchup where I really wanted to be on the draw. And we're just gonna start off by cycling this. So, what we're looking for at this point is we really wanna draw Songs of the Damned, Cabal Ritual, and just more cycling creatures. Because we're looking to possibly win this game on turn three. That's pretty scary. We're at 17. Our life total is not safe. Boy, was a good one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So they pinged us. I'm going to let that resolve. So they're going to cantrip here. Probably looking for land number three, if I had a guess. So, right, so now we're at 14. And a burn spell here would essentially put us at 10. And they've got it. Okay, so now we're effectively at 10. Fire Blast represents another 5. So our life total is really 5 right now. That's scary. Thinking about responding to this, because Fire Blast... 
does hurt. You know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to let it go. Oh no, I can't cycle Street Wreath if I... So they ping me. I go to 6. Fire Blast will put me to 1. So yeah, I'm dead to Fire Blast. Hmm. That's annoying. We do have the ploy, but I, I, it's pretty risky cycling the Street Wreath pre-ploy. Sure. Can I draw my card? No, they're going to put me to one. All right, a land was not ideal. We're going to cycle this. Draw. Dark Ritual. Let's cycle the Horror. Play this Ash Barons. Cycle Healer. I'm not allowed to cycle the street rates or else I'm dead. So we just have to front half the ploy and hope that's good enough to live. Uh, might as well discard a street wraith. So if they have a one mana burn spell, I'm dead. But if they don't, we're in business. So I go to four, they can untap, put me to three. We just need to hope that they have nothing. I mean, they probably have it here. Yeah. Being on the play, pretty powerful thing. That's a bummer. Okay, so now we go to board. We're going to bring in our forest and then our knot to the bone. Let's switch this back over to card view. I like card view. There we go. Okay, so now I think this exhume plan probably isn't the best against them. Uh, so we're going to board out the river winders and keep these for the repository scab combo, but we're not going to be looking to reanimate our uh, serpent friend. Now let's just try this out. Okay, we're on the play. Sure. Two life gain effects, pretty good. We just need to draw more creatures and another land. Our opponent has taken a mulligan to six. Okay, let's just lead on Swamp Pass. Mountain Pass. Okay, we're going to cycle a creature here. More creatures and another land. Exhumed, so I could theoretically put the creature into play. Not really what I'm trying to do here, though. Okay, so we fall to 17 life. They've played a mountain, and now what? Alchemist, sure. Let's cycle the dino and then cycle stinger. Looking for, well, that guarantees that we can cast Gnaw, but a land would be best here, in my opinion. Draw. Technically a land. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to pass. If they try to kill me, I can always cast the Gnaw to the Bone in response. Alright, so it begins 16 life. Needle drop, sure. We'll fall to 15. Third land again. Looking very similar to game number one. Curse of the Pierced Heart. Not quite as powerful as game number one. All right, let's cycle the Street Wraith. And we can cycle the Ash Barons. Go grab that island for the ploy. Will auto yield to that ability. Draw. Um, I think I just want to gain eight here. Go back up to twenty. I want to make sure that I'm not dead. That's the big thing. So they can ping me with alchemist, and then they go up to four cards. It's possible for them to deal me twenty off four. It's not impossible, but it is a, it's sort of unlikely. All right, so we fall the 18 off the Alchemist ping. And another Needle Drop. Two mana. Another Curse, sure. Okay. So we fall the 15. I think this might be a turn where we try to Reaping the Graves. Dark Ritual. 
cycle. Dark Ritual. So if I cast Reaping the Graves, I have one floating. Hmm. I guess it's just like a value reaping. I don't love it, but it's fine. And then we'll get back Street Wraith Stinger. Okay, cycle the Street Wraith. Another reaping. Uh, cycle the Horror. I can play this, and that gives me another mana to cycle, and then we can ploy to gain a little bit of life. And ploy. I think I'm actually going to keep the Exhum to bring back uh, Dranith Healer next turn. Alright, so we're at 18 and passing again. Similar spot as we were last turn. Alright, 17. Please don't kill me, opponent. I have no responses. Skewer, you got it. You should probably turn off my auto yields, though. Because if I turn off my auto yields, I can respond to the curses in my upkeep. So they have like Bolt Bolt Fire Blast, but they would have done that on their main phase. Maybe not because of the curses. A little bit torn. Tough call. All right, let's cycle this. Now I'm like a little nervous that they're going to try to kill me in response. Dark Ritual. Cycle. Ball Ritual. Songs of the Damned. Now let's flash back the Gnaw, and if they try to respond, I can always... Um, Boy. We're at 25 now, which is pretty healthy life total. Um so I can exhume back the healer for storm. And then reaping the graves. Alright, storm six, return street wraith, and then the others. Let's cycle this. 23. And another. Okay, Cabal Ritual is a pretty good one. We'll cast that. Looks like they're F6'd. Alright, cycle these. Auto yield. Auto yield. Ash Baron. It's not going to waste my time on that. Cycle. Cycle again. That was a good one. Cycle. Cycle. Alright, cycle this. And horror. Cycle. Alright, so we go up to Storm 8. Storm 9 would be songs. Maybe they didn't have 6. They were just auto-yielding to the, uh, the cycle triggers. Okay, so now we bring everyone back. Part of me thinks that maybe I want to play a stinger here and start trying to win the game. <clears throat> All right, add a red, play stinger, and let's keep cycling. Auto yield, cycle again. Every street wraith is just one life because of this Dranith healer. Triggers. Another songs is beautiful. Cycle. And we're going places. The ball ritual. I think we've probably got this. Seems pretty unlikely that we fizzle from here. I feel like we barely won this one. Like, I don't know what our opponent's hand is, but from 17 life passing the turn seemed pretty scary to me. Like, Alchemist just makes every spell so much better. Triggers. Okay, so they're at 11. We do have double songs plus Reaping the Graves. I'm not actually concerned here. Okay, Songs of the Damned. Cycle. 
cycle this. Okay, so we can bring back another stinger. And cycle Baron more. Auto yield. All right. So you do lose out on the ability to just like put four stingers in play, but I don't know if that's like super relevant not having the blood celebrant in your deck. All right, we won the game that we were on the play. Surprise, surprise. But now we have to win game number three on the draw. I think I'm just going to leave it. Game three. We've opened up Gnaw to the Bone, which is a good thing. Bad things. No green source. Other bad thing. Both of our lands are tap lands. You, you're not going to ship this, but you don't feel good about it. Okay. Opponent went to six. We're just going to have to try to survive. Mountain. All right, play the Baron more and pass the turn. No burn spell. That's kind of surprising. Alchemist? Yep, that's scary. Draw. Right, I'm just going to be lazy and cycle these now. Really want to find like a Lotus Petal or the Forest for this Gnaw. Another healer, cycle this. Okay. Dark Ritual is not the worst, just because it does give us a little bit of extra mana next turn to cycle, but we're going to have to hit the green source for this Gnaw to the bone. Needle drop again. Plan number three. We're at 17. Do you, do you hit your land? Another needle drop. Okay. The shock that draws a card when you have an alchemist. And it looks like they missed the third land. We're at 16, though, which is not a safe life total. All right. Dark ritual. Cycle this healer. There's our green source. Cycle. Dark ritual. Cycle the Ash Baron, so let's go get that forest. Play the forest. We have Threshold for Cabal Ritual, so let's cast that. And then cycle the Vantasaur. And then we can cycle this Baron more as well. Alright, some decent hits here. Right now that Nod to the Bone represents 12 life. Cycle the Baron more. And another Gnaw. Okay. Feeling pretty good now. At this point, we just need to find um, Reaping the Graves. 27 life is a healthy number. We have all these gnaws. Another alchemist. Okay, that's one way to beat Gnaw to the Bone. We'll go to 25, cycle Street Wraith. Let's cycle the Vantasaur. And I'll play out the pedal. If they get anywhere near killing me, I can always gnaw in response. Okay. So every burn spell that they play is plus two damage now. Triple alchemist, that's scary. Okay. They're not out of this. Even with my double gnaw draw. Go to 22, cycle the street wraith. And just for safety, I'm going to flashback Gnaw. Gain 18. Pass the turn. If they deal me 40 damage, tip of the cap. Like, you deserve it. Okay. Five cards in our opponent's hand. That's six damage. Triple Alchemist. Powerful. Yeah. It looks like they're just passing. Draw. Let's go to 29. A lot of street rates. Let's start ritual. Cycle. Cycle this, and then we can gnaw. That was powerful. Okay, so Cabal Ritual. Let's gnaw to the bone. Songs of the Damned. And then we're going to flashback the Gnaw for Storm. 
And then we'll have six storm for this reaping the graves. So we're at 73, which is a pretty healthy life total. All right, storm six. We can bring back triple street wraith. One, two, three, and then the horror and healer. All right, so we have some life to work with here, even against the burn deck. And there's three wraith number four. We've used all of our gnaws though. All right, keep cycling. Pedal. Cycle. I wonder if I should just put healer into play and then keep cycling to gain life. Hmm. Tough call. Play out the pedal. Cycle. We have to win the game at some point. We can't forget that. Good draw. Can we draw another Reaping the Graves? That can gain a lot of life. But we need that Reaping. Have I played a land? I have not. So that was an okay draw. Let's cycle this. Alright, 24 cards in deck. Player Island. Now let's cycle Baron Moor. Cycle Stinger. Cycle Stinger. I can't but wonder if they boarded in Pyroblasts, but I could be wrong. Let's find out. Like, they have four cards in hand and they just haven't been doing anything, so it makes sense that they have Pyroblast. Yep. Okay, and then we're going to try flashing it back, or jump-starting it, I should say. Do you have another one? Uh, we fizzled. We, we're gonna gain a bunch of life, but it's not quite good enough at the moment. Like, 90 life is plenty, but we need to win the game. Okay, and I'm down three Lotus Petals. So I have one Lotus Petal and one Exhum left to win. Alright. I'm gonna feel really bad if my opponent beats me from 90 life. Draw. Let's attack. Get in there. And repository scob. This gets back reaping the graves. Opponent's at seven minutes on clock. Martyr. I don't love that. Two mana. Okay, and they killed my uh, healer by revealing Searing Blaze Fire Blast. Draw. Okay, I think we just pass. A little bit weird that they didn't Searing Blaze the healer there. And then just kept up Martyr. Ping, ping, ping. Chain Lightning was the draw. Yep. Okay. Draw. Repository Scab. I'd love to. We're going to sacrifice this and get back Songs of the Damned. Pass the turn. So it's worth noting with um, the Martyr in the Graveyard, if I exhume, they will be able to get that back. All right, they have three cards. They just play a land. Is that what I missed? Or did they just tap? Looks like they just tapped. All right, so yeah, uh, they drew another Chain Lightning. That's fine. So we're at 66 life. Draw. There's our exhume. Uh, we can use that to get back repository scob. I think we're supposed to go for it. Actually, we can use that to make a whole bunch of storm. Right? That's kind of cool. It's like a built-in storm engine. Uh, but instead, do I just want to get back another reaping? Wait, that's the only reaping I've seen? 
Hmm. Maybe I just get back the exhume. And now let's. So I can use the next repository scob to uh, get back the reaping forest songs. So let's return stinger, stinger, and then street rates, I guess. Maybe they all should have been street rates. All right, let's play the scob. And let's get back reaping the graves. We'll exhume. Get back scob. Sacrifice it. And let's get songs of the damned. I think we're just going to have to win off a single stinger here, most likely. Cycle. Okay, so that wasn't bad. So that means I can scob again. Cycle. Or did I say a single Reaping the Greaves? I meant a single Stinger. All right, and now we'll do this again. Now it's for eight. Uh, you probably want to return one scob. Some Street Rates. Then another Stinger. All right, we have 11 cards in deck. We just have to find that Lotus Petal. Cycle. Cycle. Another Songs is Great Cycle. All right, going down to seven cards. Dark Ritual, why not? Cycle the Healer. Cycle Vantasaur. There's our pedal. Okay. Let's repository scob. Sacrifice this in return. Hmm. I think we get back an exhume. Cycle. Okay. Um. I'm just going to cast these songs. It doesn't really matter. Just trying to increase room count too. All right, so I shouldn't return a repository scob. Let's just start at the top. Okay. So they're at 18. I wonder if I even play any of these stingers or if I just leave them all for um because like if i try to play another they can just kill it with martyr in response and then i get no value and i'm just basically down a cycle i have 19 cards in hand i think all of them cycle other than this exhume cycle the ash barons i'm gonna turn off my auto yields reaping reaping okay that's actually pretty good so i think i just have the win I didn't realize that those reavings were on the bottom of my deck. Okay. So this last one will be the last draw that I'm allowed to take. All right, let's Cabal Ritual. Let's see if they'll let me play another singer just so I can make this a little bit quicker. And they did. All right, so now I just need to not mess up. I know it's a tough ask, but four minutes left on my opponent's clock. They're putting Martyr on the stack, and now I'm just going to kill them with Martyr's ability on the stack. All right. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Who's the real burn deck now? All right, keep cycling. Cycle. And cycle once more. That should do it. Uh, I will respond by killing you. <laughs> uh, they're trying to kill one of my creatures, but it just doesn't matter. And that'll do it. 
All right, so that was match number one. I hope you enjoyed it. What a nail biter. Uh, MVP goes to Nod to the Bone. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. All right, match number two, we're on the play against Casa. No, please don't mulligan me. Am I lagging? Try this again. All right, I didn't mulligan. Ooh, so this could have been a turn one exhume core of the broken lands, but we opened up on island. We can go get our swamp with the ash barons. Uh, I'm not even sure if that's a matchup or this is good, but we have it available. We have turn two exhume if we want it. Beat down. All right, so we're just going to play Island and Cycle for Swamp on their end step. Island pass. Looking at their goldfish history, they play everything. Like their last few results are Tron, Affinity, and it looks like they're on Affinity today. And um, Demir Fairy. So like they literally just play everything. So you can't really pigeonhole them. I'm not sure how good horror even is. Like I can try to play it or the striped river winder. All right, let's cycle the river winder. All right, we drew Baron more. Um, I think I'm just going to cycle the horror. I don't know how I feel about um, burning a ritual on that. I don't want to put horror into play, I think, because if they um, have Gav Blast, I have to like leave up mana to protect it all the time, which is a little bit awkward. But maybe that's the right move. I don't know. So if they have Gav Blast, it would just die here. But if I get to untap, I get to like threaten lethal. So I think I put horror into play and not the river winder. Black mana, Icar Wellspring, okay. Blue mana, Thought Cast, sure. Draw. Let's get in there. Deciding on the block. Order of the Beatdown. All right, no block. Dark Ritual. Cycle. Cycle. Let's cycle the Baron more. All right, so this is 10. Auto yield. I'm going to Cabal Ritual. We need two cyclers off these for it to be lethal. Cycle the Vantasaur. That's not one of them. We need cyclers. Come on, Doc. Don't do this to me. Um, so I need one cycle. One cycle is all I need. All right, come on, Doc. Hey, we got it. Beat down Benny. And for the Robins, keep it going. Ugh. 24 damage. How would? Why would you not block my horror? Why? Why? Exhum. Look at that. That was awesome. I love it. <laughs> All right. So what do we do against Affinity? We don't actually have a a really good backup plan anymore because I cut the Hydro Blast. I don't think uh, the Clark Clan Shaman is really worth playing that personally. So you could leave in Riverwinder or we could board up to four copies of Exhum uh, to like just really abuse Repository Scob over and over. I think we don't love this play, and you could also board in like one repeal, or even a mountain. So this is boarding down to twenty-two creatures, which is a little bit risky. 
Uh, this increases combo consistency, and this is like a red source since we don't... Well, it is a red source, right? Uh, since we don't have the Blood Celebrant, so that way you can use the Lotus Petals more uh, proactively. I'm down for trying this out. 22 Cyclers does scare me a little bit. But also board and repeal to slow them down. Let's try this. If I don't like it, I can always swap for game three. This is new territory for me. 20 cycling creatures and then two repository scob. Attacking with Horror of the Broken Lands just gives me so much joy. All right, I think we're going to keep this. When I take some mulligan. Horror of the Beatdown. I'm way too excited over that first game. I need to calm down. All right, they've played bridge. Draw. All right, so we drew a Dihada's Ploy. I think we're just going to go pick up a Swamp here with our Ash Baron to pass the turn. All right, and then... I'm not sure if we're going to keep this Baron Moor around or not. We might play it, we might cycle it, and that's sort of the nice flexibility here of not leading on Baron Moor when you already have access to two lands. All right, an invitation to someone's wedding. Draw. Exhum. So if we want beat down Benny, we can have it. Um, is that the plan? Dark Ritual? Cycle. Exhum. All right. We have a horror of the broken lands. There's the red source. Chromatic star. Thought cast. So we have to be aware of Galvanic Blast. All right, they're tapping out. Um... I think I'm going to cycle Stinger here. Maybe that's crazy. I'm going to auto yield. Auto yield. Repository scob. Okay, draw. Hmm. Four cards engraver. Our hand's a little clunky right now. I think I'm going to Cabal Ritual and then cycle. Let's go. Come on. You can click OK or F6. Either will work if you want to double Q. Let's go. Cycle. All right. Let's cycle the Baron more. OK, so we found something to give protection from Gav Blast on their turn. Uh, or I can cycle trying to keep going. I think I just take the hit for eight and don't leave my horror dead to Gal Galvanic Blast. All right. Bridge, Mirror Enforcer. That's a blocker. And that's a big uh, creature as well. Okay. Draw. Hmm. So it would be 9 if I swung in. be pretty unlikely for it to live. Get in there. I mean, I imagine that they double block, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, put the serpent in front. Okay. And then let's... Mm, I can cycle horror. That's fine. They have three cards. Let's cycle the healer. So I need to do 10 to kill both. Cycle that. And I cycle this at trades. So I think that's just what I do here. Gets rid of both. Um, if I cycle this, it's not enough to keep it alive. I would actually need two more cyclers. 
It's doing 10, so it's going to wipe both clean. I just take that exchange. Or the beatdown did its job. Okay, so now we want to find uh, a Reaping the Graves. Deadly Dispute. It's a pretty good one. And they've rejuvenated their hand. Up to six cards. Thought cast back up to six. Mirror Enforcer's back. And another gear side. So we're off the beatdown plan. They do have a, a treasure token hidden over here that we shouldn't forget about. All right, let's cycle this tree wraith because if I hit another cycler, I can cycle it off the mountain. And there we go. All right, reaping the graves. Ding! It's almost like I called that entire turn. All right, let's songs. And then scob. If they have a blast here, it's a pretty good target. And they do. Okay. So we'll songs again. They just increased our storm, so it's fine. And now we bring back some creatures. So they're at 12 already. So I think I want to bring back Stinger. Uh, Street Wraith. Horror. 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 And I'm going to bring them all back and just start cycling. I mean, I'm going to play the stinger here because I only need to do 12. Maybe I maybe this is greedy. I don't know. Uh, but this is the line that I'm choosing to take. All right. Cycle. All right. Keep it going. Cycle, cycle, cycle. So another scob gets back songs, but we would need another reaping the graves. Cabal Ritual. Is that what I want to do? Well, I think I should cycle the Vantasaur first, get a little bit of extra info. All right. Fair and more. So I'm stuck in this weird spot where I don't have enough mana to do what I want or the action spell. So I just want more info. I'm going to cycle. Uh, that can bring back a Stinger. But that doesn't do a whole lot. Could also bring back Scob. Oh my. Exhum was the perfect draw. Okay, so we get back Repository Scob. Oh my. Oh my. Exhum's so strong. Exploit. And now let's get back Reaping the Graves. Alright, so this works out perfectly. Um, and now we play this for blue, Scob, and this one gets back songs. These exhumes have seemed pretty good today. And now we just re re bring back enough cyclers to finish them off. All right. It looks like we're going to 2-0 the new affinity deck. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's cycle the Street Wraith. Boom. Cycle, cycle, cycle. All right, keep it going. Just a few more. And cycle this healer to end the game. That was an awesome round. I really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, maybe this Exhum plan has some ground. Maybe it's only good because people aren't aware of it yet. I'm not sure, but... Let's see how deep we can go today with it. We're 2-0. A lot of magic left to be played. Round number three. We're on the play against Magic Online legend Andreas. And here we've opened up a, an interesting hand. Um, I think it is a keep. It's a little bit slow. If I had to take a wild guess, I would bet that our opponent is on Affinity. Andreas is someone that tends to play like the best thing and affinity won yesterday. So I'd be willing to bet that they're trying their hand at the new affinity deck. All right, let's start off. We're just going to play Island and pass. Mountain. Okay. Maybe they're on burn could be Mogwarts, but 
Andreas is someone that also double queues a lot, so I wouldn't be shocked if it was burn. And that's an interesting draw. We're going to pass. Okay, no burn spell. Boros, okay. Sure. Let's cycle the Ash Barons. I do enjoy my Boros matchup. Um, I think I'm going to grab the island. Maybe I shouldn't, but I'm going to. And I'm just going to pass here. So on their end step, I can cycle the Street Wreath and then ploy, or I can just cycle a bunch. One thing that I like about ploy is that I can put the Repository Scob to the graveyard. All right, let's cycle. And then ploy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put Scob to the graveyard for now. Draw. And let's cycle the Baron more. I don't really want to play that card. Cycle this healer. Our opponent's leaving up uh, Prismatic Strands as well, and that's a card I'm not really interested in playing into. And there's our Exhum for our Repository Scob that I so wisely discarded. So at this point, we're just looking for our Songs of the Damned. All right, Battle Screech, and now we have a window. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Ball Ritual, let's cycle this Stinger. Once again, we are looking for Songs of the Damned. Ding! Let's just keep cycling while we can. I wonder if I should jumpstart looking for an extra creature here. All right, let's do that. Discard a Lotus Petal, we don't really need those. All right, so I think I discard a creature. All right, and then let's cycle off the blue source here. Can I play that? I can. Songs. Let's play the Ash Barons as a colorless land. And now we'll exhume back the repository scob. And now it exploits. We get back Songs of the Damned. Cast Songs again. Tons of mana. And now we're going to go all the way up to Storm 9 and return Scob. And then let's return the rest. We'll leave Riverwinder for now. Everyone else is coming home. All right, I could probably start cycling here. I was just being lazy clicking through. And we have another Songs of the Damned. I love it. All right. I think we've probably got this one. Not trying to be overly confident, but we do have uh, Reaping the Graves through a repository scob as well. Okay, just keep cycling. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. And then let's resolve the rest of these. Another Exhume to get back <laughs> repository scob. Love it. Yeah, Exhume's definitely really powerful. Okay, and now the scob. Let's play out the petal. And let's play the repository scob. We'll exploit it. Get back the songs. 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 Exhume. Return the scob. Exploit the scob. Trigger, get back reaping the graves. It doesn't really matter. Um, and now we can return everyone and then play the double stinger. Okay, right at the top. Okay, everyone comes home. So these are the last two red sources in our deck. We have to go back to thinking about that now. We've been a little uh, lackadaisical about it previously because we have the Blood Celebrant. We don't have the Celebrant anymore, so you do have to think about number of ways that you can get the Stingers into play because we've already used both the Zooms on the, uh, the Repository Scobs. So it's not entirely free anymore. You could choose to play Reposit or, uh, the Blood Celebrant still, 
The problem with that is then you're cutting into your deck. So you have to cut a cycler, which we're already, my lists tend to be pretty low on cyclers compared to the list that came before me. So I don't think that's really a choice uh, that you're allowed to make. Like, it's just pretty hairy in my opinion. So you have to find another slot. So it'd have to be like a Lotus Petal, which is something that you could theoretically do is choose to play three copies of Lotus Petal. Uh, it's also a great budget option, but Lotus Petal is just so powerful. Maybe it should be the fourth copy of Blood Celebrant. I'm not sure. Always open to feedback. All right, and that is game number one over Boros. Love it. I don't think that this is a Riverwinder matchup, so that's going to get out of here. I do like the Flaring Pain, and then two copies of Repeal for Graveyard Hate, or Bouncing Tokens. You know, it's pretty versatile. So let's submit this. Game number two versus Andreas Peterson. Boros. I know it's still very early in the testing of Exhum with Repository Scob, but holy smokes does it feel powerful. That's like one of the biggest takeaways that I'm having so far, is that it feels really, really good. Uh, I think maybe we want to consider Blood Celebrant over Petal 4, uh, just so that way we can, you know, do all the crazy stuff. But wow, uh, I'm really liking this so far. Good hand, keep. Time to battle. The crag, sure. Baron Moore, pass. I think in our upkeep, we just go get Island. Inspector Gadget, you got it. And another Inspector. Cycle the Ash Barons, go get our Island. Draw, pass. All right, so we are looking for a Reaping the Graves. We have a decent amount of mana. We have, you know, Triple Cycler, not bad, but we do need a Reaping the Graves. And that's one of the biggest downsides of playing Double Repository Scob is that with Mystical Teachings, you had a higher density of Songs of the Damned, Reaping the Graves, all that stuff. Repository Scob is better once you find them, but until you find them, it's a dud. So there is a little bit of give and take. It's not entirely free. All right, and they're cracking a clue. Probably looking for a land here, if I had a guess. All right, and they found their Boros Garrison. Or do they want the life gain off Crag, or are they going to bounce the planes? And they chose the planes. All right, so we'll take two here going to 18. I'm fine with that. And let's cycle the healer. Cabal Ritual, not bad, but we still need a Reaping the Graves. Uh, let's bring that over here. Let's cycle this horror. Cycle Stinger. Let's cycle Street Wraith. Looking for land here. We found our land. Uh, let's cycle Street Wraith. Scob. So, for example, if this was Teachings, I don't know which Scob this is for what it's worth, but if it was Teachings, we could theoretically go next turn. Okay, we're just going to pass. All right, four mana, Battle Screech, sure. Now they can flashback the Battle Screech. Yep. So if they rally next turn, I'm dead. So I really want to find that Reaping the Graves here. Cycle. Another Lotus Petal, that stinks. Draw. Come on, deck, be good to me. Cycle. And I drew Dark Ritual, not good enough. So I might have jinxed myself by talking about it, but we have to pass the turn now. It's unfortunate. So Rally the Peasants would be 18 damage coming in, which is more than enough. And there's the Rally. All right, so they've got it. Uh, let's, I want to see my next draw. Draw a card. All right, we wouldn't have hit it anyway. So, not entirely free. Um, I'm just going to resubmit. Game three on the play. Uh, 
I'm going to begrudgingly keep this. I don't like opening up the Flaring Pain, but I do think this hand is a keep. Like, this hand is essentially a mulligan. Uh, but I would keep this hand as a mulligan to six, so we should just keep it as a seven. All right, so island and pass the turn. Our opponent mulligan to six. Not a huge deal. Their deck mulligans very, very well. Lanes and pass. Okay, so I'm going to cycle a healer. Through another healer. Dark ritual. Let's see if we can get land two. Cycle the healer. If I miss, I'm going to cycle Street Wraith. And I drew another Stinger. Okay, so I'm going to cycle Street Wraith, hoping to hit here. And I missed. We're just going to pass. Okay, second plane, Squadron Hawk. Yep. So most likely just grabbing two more Hawks here. If they grab three, that means that they have a Prismatic Strands that they want to discard on their cleanup step. And they did. There's the strands. Okay, repeal. Let's cycle a healer. Trying to hit a land. We drew Reaping the Graves. Not really what we want right now. So I'm going to discard the Repository Scob, which seems a little bit awkward, but it is a creature in our graveyard for Songs of the Damned. And then if I miss on cycling the Stinger, I'm probably going to discard the Flaring Pain just so it's a little bit cheaper. All right, we fall the 17 draw. Cycle. And I missed again. So now I'm going to discard the Flaring Pain. In theory, we could maybe get going soon. Battle Screech. You got it. All right, so we're at 16 draw. Um, so if they flashback rally next turn and swung out, I would go to one, assuming I could repeal a token. I wonder if I should just try to win here. I mean, eventually I can beat the strands with the flaring pain. Lotus petal on the stack. Dark ritual. Cycle. Street Wraith down to 14. I don't mind the Street Wraith draw. Yes, that was a good hit. Cycle. Start Ritual. Come on, just flash back the strands already. F6. Get some, get some life value. Give me a little bit of storm. All right, Dark Ritual. Play out the pedal. So I have an interesting decision here on how I want to use my resources. So I can repeal a token for storm or I can save that blue for repository scob. And I think I should probably save it. I could also flaring pain right now just to increase my storm count. Or I could save that for later as well. Um, but I think I'm just gonna do it now. Maybe they'll F6 and make my life a little bit easier. Flaring pain on the stack. All right, now we're reaping the graves. We will target repository scob first. This is going to be for eight, so we're going to get back most of our graveyard here. So we're going to start on the street rates, then the other creatures. Okay, so this is going to bring us down to 10. Another blue source isn't bad. All right, let's cycle this. So that can theoretically get back the scob after we replay it, which is pretty good. Liking my spot right now, that's for sure. Okay. Cycle. Yeah, Exhum is just really efficient, which I think is one of the things that I love about it. Cycle. Let's cycle this too, why not? Another songs? So much mana. Okay. And another scob. I might use this exhum then on uh, Stinger. Let's just start winning this game. All right, so scob, play our extra island. So let's play this. 
exploit, get back reaping the graves. All right, scob, exploit, get back songs of the damned. All right, exhume, get stinger, songs. I, I lost the mana doing it that way. I should have done it the other way. Um, but I don't think it's actually going to matter. And we can return at least one of these. I, I might want to leave the other in the graveyard for Exhume. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave the other in the graveyard for Exhume. We have 27 mana and a lot of cyclers, so we should have it here. But you just got to do the work because it's not a guarantee. We've already played our land. All right, Cycle Street Wraith. Set up our auto yields. All right, and another Exhum. So if we cycle into another Stinger, we can bring it back. Or we can even get back the uh, Repository Scob as well. All right, so just got to keep going. All right. Off to the road we go, or some sort of weird expression that I just messed up. All right, cycle the healers. Auto yield. And again. Should probably pull the lands out of the deck, right? So that way I don't cycle into the two remaining swamps. So let's auto yield to this. Probably would have been a wise decision. Okay. Grab those swamps. Dark Ritual. Cycle the Vantasaur. Baron Moore, why not? Repeal. Repeals are like pretty free to board in, in my opinion. Um, like the fact that they cycle for a blue mana with Lotus Petal is incredibly nice. We'll cycle these three rates. I get nervous about going low on life, but I shouldn't. Like, until you're a dummy and you cycle uh, to zero, it doesn't really matter that much. They're at five. That stinks. I actually need to uh, do something. So I'm going to bring back the repository scob. Trigger. Sack it. Get back Songs of the Damned. Cast it. Reaping the Graves. From 21. Gotta click through now. Click, 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 click. Boom. All right. So at this point, I just have to finish resolving. I mean, I could respond to these, but I'm just going to return them all because I can. And I have 10 minutes and I'm going to enjoy my 10 minutes. All right. Cycle. Cycle again. Cycle again. Keep it going. 13 cards left in deck. Don't need to worry about that at all. Just a friendly reminder. It's important to know how many cards are left in your deck so you don't accidentally deck yourself. And there we go. We are now 3-0. Exhum? Maybe it's the future? Who knows? But definitely let me know what you think so far in the comments down below. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm Mini Token Pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for Grape Shot everyone's favorite Stormwind condition, a Galvanic Relay Exile Indicator, four treasure tokens for Strike It Rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has Slime Time Live! Eve Progenitor Ooze tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice, we've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels vs. Goblins, Chatterstorm vs. Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel tokens and 20 Goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Match number four, we're on the play. And if you're very, very observant, you will notice my pop filter has changed. 
Uh, I rebought the one that I had been using the last year, so I accidentally broke it because I'm an idiot. And I was using my old one that sucked. So I know you're not supposed to break your... You're not supposed to change anything when you're throwing a no-hitter. We were 3-0 and I changed something. So if we lose, it's my own fault. But uh, I like this one a lot more, so I wanted to switch it out. And I think that this is a keep. Yeah, you never change anything when you're throwing a no-hitter. But I like to break rules, so deal with it. This one's nice. It's double mesh metal. The other one's like a thin cloth. It doesn't really do anything. This one's just so much better. And if you're interested in what this actually is, uh, if you go to the Epic Storm and then the FAQs in there, there's a drop down for my actual setup. You can go through there and see what I actually use. So uh, those are products that I truly believe in. I'm not paid to uh, advertise them. They're just what I actually use and enjoy. So enjoy that. All right. Uh, walls or elves? Okay, Dark Ritual wasn't the worst, but we need a little bit more than that. So now we're just looking for Reaping the Graves, I think. Cycle. That was good, because now we can cycle the horror. Give me a Reaping the Graves. Forest. Elf. Okay. Sure thing. Next turn, they're going to have roughly a million mana. Draw. Let's cycle the Riverwinder. Come on, we need a Reaping the Graves. Let's see it. Cycle. All right, we have to pass. We are now 25% of the way through our deck. No Reaping the Graves. Three cards in our opponent's hand. Ooh, they're getting in there. That's kind of surprising. They're passing? Scob... Doesn't do anything here. Once again, if it was teachings, it, it is live. Cycle. Cycle. Ash Barons. I think we just pass. Another forest. Why didn't they attack with the Sentinel? I don't understand something here. Do they think it's a zero two? What are they doing? Uh, I'm going to cycle for another island. All right, come on, deck, be good. All right, cycle. There we go. So the question is, am I supposed to wait? Um, is there a real punish for me waiting here? We have nine. All right. I'm going to pass. If they somehow kill me, it's my own fault. But based on the previous turns, it would show that they don't have anything. Vanguard. Oh, and they now realize that they can attack. Okay. Draw. Our opponent's draw was really anemic. I don't know what they're holding back, but it just seems odd to me. And another Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Go ball ritual. Lotus petal. Songs of the damned. Okay. Do you have like a main deck to spell? Is that why you kept? They must. That's odd. Okay. So I didn't see that coming. If I'm being completely honest, that said doesn't matter. And I'm really glad I didn't try last turn now. We'll get back our songs. Songs again. Reaping the Graves. Get back that repository scob. And then return all of our friends. Okay. Riverwinder, Riverwinder. So I can even return the creatures I didn't really want to. Cycle. Cycle this. Keep it going cycle and another scob so we're going to be able to get back both songs and reaping the graves now okay cycle don't hate that keep it going all right um i'm actually going to hang on to that keep cycling 
Love it. Uh, I probably should have responded there because I just lost that on the mana. Yep, okay. I just lost the uh, two mana. So now we're going to play Scab again. Exploit it. Let's get back. Songs of the Damned. Sack for white. Repository Scab. Exploit it. Get back Reaping the Graves. Sacrifice this for red. Play the Stinger. And let's cycle. And why not? I'm going to pull the Swamp out, actually. Got our yield here. All right, let's yield to that. Cycle the Horror. We just have to go through the motions. All right, Songs. Reaping the Graves. I'm going to leave one scob in there for the exhume no matter what. Okay. Click, click, click. We can just return everyone. We have 23 mana floating. Let's just bring all of our friends home. Okay. 19 minutes on clock. We're doing well. Cycle. Keep it going. Go to seven. Auto yield. And now we can play another stinger. Get this going by a little bit faster. Cycle a healer. Woot woot. All right. So we will be in game two in just a minute or so. I just have to finish this. I love this deck so much. I know that I upload it like pretty frequently. Um, and sometimes like it doesn't have the best views because I upload it so often. But I just love playing this deck. And that's the truth. Like I don't upload this deck because I think it's what everyone wants. Like I just genuinely enjoy playing this deck a lot. There's a lot of micro decisions that really, really matter. And that's the sort of magic that really interests me. So yeah. All right. We don't want river winders here. I think those can go out. I do like darkness as a way of just slowing them down. We saw Dispel, but I don't think it's worth boarding in Pyroblast. Um, you could board in a third Exhum, so that way you can like really repository scab trick. We are Reanimator. We're just bringing zombies back from the dead to kill them again. That's what we do. Game two, we're on the draw, and we have the double Ash Baron sand, which is not ideal. That said, I do think that this hand is a keep. We're just gonna have to essentially give away our first turn searching up a basic swamp. All right, so let's play the Ash Barons and go get our swamp. Pass the turn. So our next two turns are going to be cycling horror plus white creature. So we know that much. Uh, we just have to live long enough. And they've had a pretty aggressive draw here. Draw. Pass. Um, so we need to hope that they don't have a big scary payoff in hand. Another Birch Lore. Three mana. Ah, uh, that's what I was afraid of. They just drew five. That hurts. Very good hand for our opponent. They've already played a land, so they can pick up a land and untap Elvish Mystic. Oh, this is their turn three, my bad. I thought they had already played one. I was wrong. Okay, and they can they have Dispel up, by the way, because they have two untapped Elves. And they have a Birch Floor Ranger. So they if they have Dispel, they, they've got it. We can't really do a whole lot. All right, cycle, cycle, All right, draw, there's reaping, uh, so we can cycle Street Wraith, I mean, this could be a go turn, cycle the Vantasaur, that brings us to five, six, seven, okay, so if, I mean, I think we're supposed to go. 
cycle this. All right, it looks like they have sixed. Maybe I'm wrong. They just yielded to the cycle. All right, let's cycle this. Why not? Cycle the stinger. Okay, plenty of storm. Does this resolve? All right, that's good. So the question is now, do I exhume to put the stinger into play? And I think the answer is actually no. We just want to keep cycling a bunch. We're not at the point in the game where we have enough resources for that. All right. Love a good turn three win. Let's see if we can make it happen. I'm not going to waste my mana cycling a Baron more. Cycle. All right, let's find another Reaping the Graves. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Songs of the Damned. There's a land drop. Cycle the Vantasaur. Yes, there we go. Cycle this. Feeling pretty confident right now. Cycle. So the question is, do I want to waste a colored mana and cycle this? So that way this can make one more. So we're essentially shifting a colored mana to a black mana. I think the answer is no, I should just cast this. All right, so now we cycle here. Good draw, cycle. All right, double repository scob. We're about to have some fun, holy smokes. All right, so let's cycle the Baron more? Yeah. So this is actually going to, and that's why I cycled it, believe it or not. I was like, maybe I'll hit the island. Um, because this keeps the colored mana open, at least a little bit. Maybe not. Because I still have to cast the songs off a of pedal. Alright, and now we songs. Now we exhume. Get back scob. Sacrifice Scob, trigger, get back songs, songs again, 17 mana. All right, so let's repository Scob, sacrifice, get back songs again, cast it. Exhume. This time we're going to exhume the Stinger. And then Reaping the Graves back, everyone. I'm going to leave one Repository Scob in there. And this should do it. I know that I didn't click Street Wraith first. Forgive me, it doesn't really matter. Alright, we're just going to return everyone for now. I have 19 mana floating. Mana's not really the bottleneck at the moment. And then one scob leaving one in there for a future exhum. Okay. Speaking of the devil. Okay, cycle this. Would like to find it. There it is. Another stinger. Read my mind, Doc. Okay, easy peasy. Cycle. Cycle this. Looking pretty good for the home team. Really liking these exhumes today. All right. Love it. Cardio Dino. Okay, let's yield to these abilities. Cycle Healer, why not? Keep it going. Okay, and that is the match. We are now 4-0 over Elves. My pop change didn't affect the match, thankfully. And uh, yeah, Exhum just continuing to overperform. Love to see it. Uh, stick around. Hopefully we finish strong. Round number five. We're on the play. This seems fine to me. Keep. We're going to have to use the Ash Barons to cycle these four cyclers until we can find a black source for the Horror of the Broken Lands. Okay, Ash Barons in pass. 
What are you playing, Lenny? Boros. I do enjoy my Boros matchup. Another Horror of the Broken Lands. Can't cycle you yet. Cycle the healer. Ding dong. Cycle. Oh, baby. Let's just find a Reaping the Graves now. Squadron Hawk, you got it. Once again, if they pick up three, that means that they have the Prismatic Strands. Resolving the Hawk. They only picked up two, so that's a good sign for us. Lotus Petal. Cycle. Oh my, should we go for it? Cycle. Cycle. I think we should probably wait a turn. This seems like pretty risky to just jam. And I'm going to pass. Another hawk. Good news. They revealed the... Okay. I was going to say if they didn't have a land, they'd have to discard. All right, draw. I think it's go time. Let's cycle this. That gives us threshold, by the way, for any future copy of Cabal Ritual. Tripped Riverwinder. Can't use you quite yet. I guess I could if I am willing to sacrifice the pedal. All right, so now we have double pedal. Uh, so I can cast double songs into Reaping the Graves. That would be six creatures coming back. So I don't think I'm that... I'm going to cycle this Striped Riverwinder. Okay, that was good. Cycle. Picked up a blue source. Okay, let's cast them. They're still only returning six. Um... Stinger's fine. Then we have a couple Street Wraith to return. Four Stinger, Stinger. All right, so this essentially draw six. Ash Baron's not ideal, cycle. Ding, cycle. Love it, cycle again. Keep it going. And Repository Scab, welcome to the party. I'm going to hang on to you for a little bit. Cycle. Another pedal. And stinger. Let's cycle the stinger. Good cycle bear more. Why not? 31 cards. Another reaping the graves. That's good. I can. Uh, I don't want to cycle you. All right. So we'll play scob. Sacrifice the scob. Get back a songs of the damned. Cast the songs. Reaping the Graves, get back the Scob. Actually, I'm going to leave the Scob, because I have two copies of Exum in my deck, and I'm going to leave it there in case I hit one. Because I think at this point in the game, I'm just going to play my Singers and start cycling for the win. Uh, I feel like I misclicked there, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay. It looks like I didn't misclick, okay. So now we're going to play Stinger with 15 mana floating after I'm done playing the second one. 16 mana total with the untapped swamp. And let's just keep cycling. All right. Just have to not accidentally kill myself. Another uh, Stinger can enter the battlefield now. Love that. All right. Cycle the healer. Auto yield here. Woot woot. So we're going to take game number one over Boros. Ritual. Cycle. Good deal. Okay. One more after this. And there it is. So that is game number one. Woot woot. Easy peasy. Let's bring in the repeals and the flaring pain. Get those river winders out of here. Submit. Game two against Boros. We've opened up a, a hand that has Bear Moors as our cycler and Scob. 
I'm going to keep this, but honestly, I don't love it. Um, just it is what it is. And our opponent's taking a uh, mulligan here. So we don't actually have any cycling creatures, but we can cycle these Baron Moors. I think I'm actually going to just lead on cycling Baron Moor and keep the Ash Barons back. Because if you cycle Ash Barons for Island, then you're not doing... Maybe I should, I don't know. Let's just see what my draw step is. Maybe I'll change my mind. Planes into Inspector. Yep. Okay, draw. Let's just pass and I can reevaluate after. I'm just worried that if I cycle for Island, then I'm not doing anything. I guess I could cycle for Swamp and then double cycle Barrymore next turn. I don't hate that. Maybe that's actually the play, and I just accept that I'll draw into an island later. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to cycle this for Swamp. So I'm going to take one here. Her hand doesn't do anything quite yet. They picked up three Hawks. Ouch. 19. Draw. All right, Swamp pass, and then on their end step, we can cycle. And another Hawk, you got it. Forgotten Cave, okay. I'm just going to be lazy and cycle these right now. All right, another Cabal Ritual. Draw. Cycle the Healer. Cycle Dino. I guess I'm going to play out Lotus Petal. Not in the best spot here. Looting. Discarded a pair of Hawks. Sure. And another Inspector. So with Rally, this does represent lethal next turn. So I'd take three here, going to 14. They rally next turn, which would be 12. So I guess my repeal actually protects me from death. Okay, two cards in hand. So I died to rally bolt. All right, don't hate that. Grab island and pass the turn. Three cards in hand. Two mana, getting rid of a clue. Okay, so not likely dead here. Why would you leave back Inspector? That's odd. So I'd fall the ten. What's the point of leaving back Inspector here? Let's. Oh, they ha they're looking for. They're gonna discard Prismatic Strands. That's fine. Are they looking to discard Prismatic Strands? Let's cycle this. Another scob. Um, I can pick up my petal here for storm, but we don't have a reaping. Hmm. Tough call. I think it is cycle. Even if I did find reaping, I have three creatures. <laughs> Like, I can't do anything. I guess what I'm looking for is actual just creatures to cycle. Lotus Petal number four, classic. Um, it's nine cards. So I think we're supposed to discard one uh, scob here. Jeez. All right, so they're going to cycle Forgotten Cave looking for the win. Sure, I'll gladly take five. We need a chain of creatures into Reaping the Graves. Songs of the Damned is not going to do it. So in theory, I can Repository Scob back the Repeal, um, but it's a little bit of wishful thinking in my opinion. All right, Scob. We get to go get our Repeal. Lotus Petal. 
Sacrifice for blue, bouncer pedal. We hit the reaping, uh, which is something, I guess. I'd be shocked if I won this game. All right, and then let's reaping the graves. We can return our creatures. I don't need to cast songs yet. Can't but wonder if I'm supposed to return both scobs. I, I guess the answer is probably yes, but I don't know. All right, cycle healer. I'm dead to bolt if I cycle this. I might not have a choice. Cycle. Keep it going. Cycle. All right, return the horror. Cycle this. All right, I'm going to songs. So now both scobs come back. It's just, it seems so unlikely that I win from here. I just don't have enough resources. Maybe I should have cycled the Street Wraith and just accepted that I'm dead to bolt. Probably a mistake. Um, I mean, if they had bolt, why wouldn't they have killed the Scob previously, though? Yeah, maybe I should have... I don't know. All right, return songs. I think I'm going to just cycle. Like, I can't afford to play out the healer. If you have Lightning Bolt, you have Lightning Bolt. All right, Cycle Street Wraith. There's Ploy. Um, That was a good one. Let's cast that. So this is actually the fourth Lotus Petal. I can't win if I sack this for anything other than red. Okay. So actually, I can't beat a Prismatic Scrans. I just have to pass. Uh, not having the uh, the Blood Celebrant definitely relevant this game. For sure. All right, so they get to attack and I'll go to six. I have seven cards. Like, how do you not have enough to kill me here? Did you board out Rally? Okay, so they have three mana open. Draw. Dark Ritual. Cycle Baron Moore. Cycle Stinger. Cycle Vantasaur. Songs. Let's play Scob. Try to get back the Reaping the Graves. Target Reaping. Um, yeah. I mean, this just seems pretty unlikely, but... Yeah, we're definitely getting bottlenecked on just not having the uh, the Blood Celebrant in the deck right here. All right, so I'm not allowed to get back the... I guess I could win with uh, Exhumes. I wasn't thinking about that. We have two Exhumes. All right, so we can win with the Exhumes on Stingers. Okay. The so draw five. I think I should probably pull the uh, the island out of the deck. So that way I can jumpstart uh, the ploy. <laughs> All right. I don't even know how many songs are left. One, two. Looks like two. Cycle. Maybe I should have flashback the flaring pain before I played the reaping. I didn't think of the exhumes though. Cycle. And then healer. Okay. Cycle this. I'm going to try jumpstarting the ploy. Okay. That's certainly powerful. Um. We can do this. 
songs, songs. That's flaring pain. Flaring pain resolved, okay. So we're going to exhume here and pick up a stinger. And I'm doing this for Storm. Uh, I know it might not make a lot of sense, but the reason that you do it is that... Sure, let's auto yield to this. Um, because if you reaping and then double exhume, they're just going to kill one anyway. So here, at least I get an extra storm trigger out of it. Okay. I'm going to leave Stinger in the graveyard. Maybe I should pick it up. Yeah, because I don't want to bring back a scob. And it looks like they're actually going to let me keep my stinger here which is kind of wild all right let's cycle stinger deal them one are they just full f6 exhume get back stinger oh wow all right cycle i think we've got it now okay i, I honestly i'm a little surprised that we're going to win this game i felt so uh, like claustrophobic pinched on red mana and we ended up making it work i mean part part of it is that i forgot about exhume but yeah i definitely felt it this game being pinched on colored mana i really do plan on making the swap for blood celebrant okay keep it going the cardio dino all right Let's draw four. Woot woot. And that's going to do it. We are 5 0. -oh. Two rounds left to go. Let's see if we can make it happen. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Match number six, and we're on the play! Great hand, keep Keep, 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 keep. God, this deck's so good. I love playing this deck so much. I know that I already like wrote a love letter earlier on in this video to this deck, but it's just true. I really do love playing this deck. It's just so much fun. Five color storm in all formats. That's what I do, right? Legacy's five colors, technically. Uh Hopper five color. Even Lur's Breach is technically five colors. If you could tell 11-year-old Bryant that he'd be playing five color combo uh, in all formats, he'd think you're crazy. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. I mean, our deck is naturally a little bit better against Discard now because we have two Scob and two uh, Exhum. So it's not nothing, but this definitely hurts. Our first uh, black opponent of the event. And they selected Reaping the Graves, sure. All right, we'll cycle. Go get our island. Draw. All right, pass. All right, so they're Orzhov Pestilence. Kind of a tough matchup in my opinion, but, you know, it's doable. We'll grab the Swamp. Cycle the horror. All right, draw and pass. We do have to be aware. Okay, so that's their uh, Bonders ornament uh, replacement. We have to be aware of Bajuka Bog, but I don't know how much I can actually afford to play around that. The Reaping the Graves is obviously a great draw. A draw. I mean, are we going for it here? It looks like it. Uh, five? Yeah, I think we're going to go for it. Okay. 
Don't need these exhumes quite yet. I mean, I could play one for Storm, but that makes my combo a little bit worse. I think I'm just going to return four. All right. Street Wraith, or the Broken Lands, and Dranith Healer. Come on, Doc. Be good to me. Give me a scob. Cycle. Keep it going. Songs. Come on, give me scob. Cycle. Uh oh. Last cycle here. All right. Cycle. Kill me, Smalls. Um. Cycle this. Cycle. A. All right. So we'll dark ritual. Songs. And now I can bring back a stinger for storm. Okay. And then reaping the graves. Now we want to bring back street wreath first. Or and then some white creatures. Why not? Looking at my graveyard, you'd think I was also an Orzhov deck. Cycle. Okay. Auto yield. Love the dark red. That was great. Cycle. Cycle that as well. Riverwinder. I think I'm going to hang on to that for now. I mean, I, I can always cycle it later, but I'm digging for a scob, so I don't really want to use up my blue mana. We're over halfway through at this point. Okay. So we have a lot of mana, that's good. Let's return one. Cycle. Keep it going. Songs. Cycle the Baron more. Um I have deterministic lethal. I should have seen it sooner. Exhume. Stinger. And now we just cycle five times. Sorry, it took me a second to realize that. No need to risk it. We just had it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Get out of here, Orzov. With your discard. How dare you? All right. That's game number one. Love it. So we could board in Flaring Pain. Hmm. I don't know if they... Whoa. What just happened there? Sorry about that. Uh, I was trying to open up a new Chrome tab. See if... Uh... Also, I hope you enjoy my Mets background. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if they play Prismatic Strands. Popper. Let's find Orzov. I know that these are pre-list uh, or whatever. Revoke Existence, Dust to Dust. Yeah, these are all pre Ban, which is what I'd expect. I'm just trying to figure out if they have, if I should bother boarding in the flaring pink set. It's not a card I want, and I could, in theory, board in Exhume to make me better against Graveyard Hate because they are a main deck Bajuka Bog deck. But I also think like reanimating a five-five Riverwinder might be really good against them. Well, I guess if they're Pestilence, they have. Guardian of the Guild Pact, which is pro monocolored and thorn. They have four main deck chainers edict. Hmm. Could do this. And then just have like four exhume. Try to overwhelm them. Plus like exhuming back Scob over and over to get back cards that have been discarded. This is strong. Uh this could be a Turn three Riverwinder. I'm going to keep it. All right. Duress. I would imagine that they take the... Ooh, they went straight for the Reaping the Graves that time. Okay. Let's play the Baramore and pass. That was a very quick decision after their first dress like, took like two and a half minutes. All right. You got it. Draw. 
Okay, so on their end step, I'm going to cycle Riverwinder and then the Ash Baron through a swamp. You have a Talisman, that's fine. Okay, let's go pull a swamp out of the dock. And then cycle the Riverwinder. Draw. Zoom. Hopefully they boarded out all their edicts. Come on, Riverwinder. Ah, uh, and there's the Guardian. So they just blanked my Exhum. Kind of a bummer. I knew it was a possibility. That said, all we invested was a single Exhum, so it's not like I, I spent a bunch of resources on that. Draw. I'm just going to pass here. Another pristine talisman, you got it. Read the bones, yeah. Value town. You got it, okay. So let's cycle the horror. Cycle the healer. Cycle stinger. All right, Swarm's two. Might be our go time. Dark Ritual, Ball Ritual, Cycle the Stinger. Let's Ball Ritual. I'm going to do this for Storm. I don't have a Songs yet, so I think I'm going to discard the Scob, Cycle Street Wraith. That wasn't bad. Uh, so if we can find a Songs of the Dam, it'd feel pretty good. All right. So we get to return two street rates here. One, two, stinger, stinger. All right. So let's see if we can find a street rate or uh, a songs. Because if we hit songs, I think I might be able to win. Come on, Doc. Yes. Hell yeah. Cycle. Cycle again. Um. Sure, why not? All right, I'm going to ritual with that on the stack. Or songs with that on the stack. All right, cycle the horror. Now we can play out a bunch of lotus petals. Exhum. Get back the scob. Sacrifice the scob. Return the songs of the damned. Cast songs. Now reaping the graves. I'm going to return the scob. Wraith, 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 stinger, stinger, or healer. And then it doesn't matter. Just click. Okay, so I could start pinging, but I don't feel like I'm actually in a spot where that wins quite yet. I could be wrong. Um, I have enough mana where I can just return everything. Okay, so, yeah, because I, I could play out two stingers here and then start cycling. So that would bring me down to seven. You know what? I'm going to do it. Whoops, undo. Stinger. Why not? For the science, I, I do feel like just cycling is a little more conservative, but I think I can get there. You have to cycle 12 times. We have three free cyclers. All right, Dark Red was a good draw. Cycle. All right, we've got it. Cycle this. Cycle the healer. Cycle this. Why not? They're at 12. They played a land. I have not, so let's cycle this. Fins land anyway. Play that, play the pedal. Songs actually only makes five mana, which is kind of funny. We just like don't have that many uh, things going on here. But uh, the Reaping the Grave should just win it. All right, so we're gonna play Scob. 
and then sacrifice the scob. Get back the songs of the damned. Songs, songs, and now we can reaping the graves. This is going to do it. We just have to not triple cycle Street Wreath when we're at six life. And I've called it out, so hopefully I'm smart enough to figure that out. Our opponent saved themselves some time, and we are 6-0. Oh, one round left to go. We're running hot. These exhumes have seemed pretty good. Let's see if we can keep it going. All right, match number seven. We are on the play. Keep, 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 keep. What a great hand. We just want to find more cycling creatures. All right. Let's kick it off. I'm going to play Island and then the Riverwinder. Pass. All right, so they're on the new Affinity deck. You got it. Let's cycle this Riverwinder. We need another creature here. Boom. And a hit. Draw a creature? Hmm. Not the worst, but would have preferred another cycling creature. All right, so we'll take one here, falling to 19. And a wedding invitation, that's fine. Cycle. Hey, that was a good hit. Cycle. Yeah. So we have three creatures. Need some more. There we go. So this brings us to 17, four creatures. Let's cycle the healer. Cycle horror. I think I'm actually going to hold the Baron more. Is that crazy? Yeah, I'm going to hold it. Deadly Dispute? Sure thing. So we lose one, falling down to 16. They get their treasure. Blood Fountain, okay. And then Thought Cast? Sure thing. All right, so we're going to fall to 14. Draw the fourth copy of Songs of the Damned. Jeez. All right, cycle this Baron more. Ball Ritual. All right, so we need a little bit more Storm. So we're going to play this first Songs. And then the second Songs. And then we're going to hold on to these last two Songs of the Damned. We're going to target Riverwinder last, because it, it's not really one we want to bring back. Street Wraith, Horse, Healer, Stinger, Healer. We're bringing back all six at the moment. Bar Ritual, Cycle. Keep it going. Another Dark Ritual, Cycle the Healer. Cycle Healer. Riverwinder, Cycle the Stinger. Cycle Horror, Cycle Stinger, need a payoff, Cycle Stinger, Lotus Petal, Cycle the Healer, Cycle Baron Moor. All right, so I'm gonna pick up uh, an island here. Okay, let's Cycle the Riverwinder. Dark Ritual, Cycle the Horror, down to our final cycle here. Do we hit? Hey, we did. Love it. A Ball Ritual. Sack this for a blue. Sure thing, you can have your trigger. Scob. Sacrifice it. Pick up the Reaping the Graves. All right, songs, songs, and reaping the graves. 13. Returning all of our creatures one by one. And I'm just going to let them all return. I'm not going to cycle with it on the stack. We've used all four copies of Songs of the Damned, so it just doesn't make any sense. And we're going to just put a creature in a play and start trying to win the game. All right, that's two Lotus Petals of the four. So we still have two Petals that make red mana in the deck. 
cycle. Auto yield to that ability. Cycle the horror of the broken lands. Okay. Cycle, cycle, cycle. Okay. No Lotus Petal yet. Would make things a little bit easier. All right, just keep it going. Another Dark Ritual. 12 more cycles. Uh, I guess I'll cycle a Stinger. Why not? I'm trying not to cycle the Street Rates right now. I know that I'm at 10 and I could cycle them. I just don't want to because I want to keep my life total high uh, against the Disciple. Cycle the Baron more. Okay, so cycle this. This puts them down to seven, and that's going to do it. Okay. Cycle. Nothing left. Cycle. Nothing left. Ball ritual. And reaping the graves. All right. Return all the creatures and then just finish cycling. Okay, so we just have to cycle five more times. 15 cards left in deck. I always like to just check to make sure that I'm not going to deck myself. Because if you're reckless and just don't pay attention to that, you will lose games on accident. All right, and that's going to be game number one. Against Affinity. We could try boarding up one Exhume over a Riverwinder. Just to make the, uh, the Scob thing more likely. Or we could just board up to four. And then, you know, really go wild with the scobs. I get, I do worry a little bit about creature density with that. Hmm. Let's try this out. All right, game number two, and we've opened up an interesting hand here. We have the Riverwinder, which is a little bit awkward with our swamp. We have cards that do things. Um. I don't know. For some reason, I just don't love this hand. I think I'm going to begrudgingly keep it. Great Furnace and a Chromatic Star. Sure. Draw. I'm just going to be lazy in main phase cycle. Get that F6 value. There's our Exhume, but it doesn't really do anything at the moment. If I cycle and mess my land, we can discard the Scob, which makes Exhume a little bit better. All right, Deadly Dispute, you got it. So Ancestral Recall, they go up to seven cards and they get a free mana out of it. Very strong interaction. Draw. Boy, okay, we'll cycle the healer. Missed on my land, I'm going to discard this Repository Scob. All right, so we can only cycle healer at the moment, which is a little bit weird. You have a Thought Cast. Two mana. Chromatic star, okay. Looks like they're just passing. Sure. Graves is not a bad draw. Cycle. Alright, looks like we're going to discard the Striped Riverwinder. If for some reason they tap out, we could go for it. I mean, five mana is a lot to tap out, but it's possible. Wedding Invitation, okay. Mirror Enforcer, Mirror Enforcer, you got it. Two blue. The Serpent, that's a lot of power. That's 13 damage coming in. They still have one open mana. Well, let's draw. Songs of the Damned? They have this Chrome Star to filter for blue. All right, so that resolved. Uh, let's cycle Stinger. Go to 18, cycle. Cycle. Play out Lotus Petal. 
Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Cycle Stinger. Exhume. So even if they kill the Scob with the trigger on the stack, I can exhume it again for the songs back. Return the Scob. Exploit. All right, so it looks like they're going to kill the Scob. Okay. That happens. Exhume again. Scob. Sacrifice it. Return these songs. I'm like somewhat tempted to cast Ploy here, but then I can't return the Scob later. You know, I'm going to do it. Why not? Why not? Stormy. Oh my, that was good. All right, so Songs of the Damned is Storm number nine. I think I'm going to hang on to the songs right now and try to eke a little bit more mana out of it. So it would have made nine mana. Let's see if we can do better. Street Wraith, Stinger, Dino, Stinger, Healer, Healer, Vantasaur, Riverwinder. Did I miss one? I feel like I might have missed one. I don't know. I've, I definitely missed a creature, I think. All right. Cycle. Cycle the Stinger. All right. Blue Source is great because it guarantees uh, we'll be able to scob again. Okay, keep it going. Might as well pull an island out. All right, keep cycling. 33 cards left in deck. Cycle. Cycle. Cast this dark ritual. Why not? Cycle the healer. Cycle stinger. Why not? We'll cycle the bear more too. The ball ritual, cycle Vantasaur, go to 17, pull another land out, why not? I want to draw those anyway. Well, I just lost that on a mana accidentally. Should have seen what when that was coming back. All right, now Scob comes home. Scob. Exploit it, and we will return Reaping the Graves. All right, um, 24 cards. We should be fine. This is going to bring back everyone. Okay, just got to click through. How many songs do we have left? One, two, so we have two songs. I'm going to cycle a little bit first. All right, so the exhumed's fine. All right, and there's both copies of the song, so we're coasting. All right, go down to 11. Just keep cycling. And that does it. All right, cycle this. Cycle. Cycle the healer. Songs. 12 cards left in deck. All right, I'm just going to return everyone at this point. All right, so we can bring back Stinger. Bring back Stinger. And then play Stinger. So now each cycle deals three. And uh, yeah, just have to finish winning. Cycle the Baron more. Cycle Street Wraith going down to nine life. Cycle Vantasaur. 
Petal, Cycle of the Sting, uh, Horror of the Broken Lands, Cycle Stinger, and Cycle the Riverwinder to end it out. And that's the match. We are 7-0, headed to top 8. Woot woot. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. Welcome to Top 8. We are facing Andreas Peterson once again on Boros Bully. And we've opened up a stellar hand. We're definitely going to keep this. All we need to do is find Reaping the Graves. All right, so we're going to lead on Baron Moore and pass. On our second turn, we're going to cycle a creature looking for a second land. If we miss, we're going to cycle Street Wraith. Faithless Looting. Prismatic Strands. Okay, so they have it this time. Cycle. Cycle the Street Wraith. Baron Moore, okay. So we hit land two. Still need to find that Reaping the Graves. Draw. All right, let's cycle a creature. Should I go for it? Uh, I'm kind of tempted. They don't have strands up here. This is crazy. Okay, so this would be card number six. Cycle Stinger. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. And then Reaping the Graves. This will return all five. Street Wraith first, and then the other creatures. Need to make this song's worth it. Cycle. That's threshold so we can cast this all right so now you need uh, a scob or another reaping the graves all right let's cycle the baron more another exhum scob would be so good it would pretty much be game over um i'm gonna let that return cycle cast songs cycle cycle Cycle. Come on, keep it going. I think we fizzled. All right, cycle this. That's a bummer. Cycle. Cycle this. So I could like bring back a horror of the broken lands, I guess. Is that worth losing the pedal? All right, Horror of the Broken Lands. We got pretty deep. We got almost halfway through our deck there. Journey to Nowhere, wrecked. I could have brought back the Riverwinder too. Uh, let's cycle here. We'll pull the island out. Ploy. Screwed the swamp and pass. Ugh. Definitely missed my window. And now they have a white creature for the prismatic strands. Cycle. Cycle this. Wonder if I just like double beat them down with large creatures. Next turn I can just like cast another striped riverwinder. I should turn off my auto yield. Uh, no, the swamp's in the graveyard. I can't cycle this for a swamp. Never mind. Flashback looting. Plains like trickery. Two mana. Seeker. Okay. They draw a card off Monarch. Draw. Let's attack. They're probably going to block with the Palace Sentinels. 
Yep. Play it and let's play a C uh Stripe Riverwinder the hard way. Oh, it's seven. It's not six. I thought it was six. Whoops. Uh, cycle the healer. I can hard cast it here. Uh, if I think that's better than. I really think that's how we win this. I don't know. I feel like I've already lost this game. Here we go. Just beating down the serpents. Six cards in hand. Battle Screech, okay. Draven Inspector. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to win this. So they can try to get tricky here and swing in and I block and then they use the strands to pump this up to a 5-5. Five five. Okay, they're just going to pass. I mean, that's a draw. Let's get in there. Okay. And then they prismatic strands. I actually get to take the monarch here. Oh, no, I don't because the damage is prevented. My bad. Uh, so I'm going to pass. My hope here is that on my opponent's turn, they play a bunch of spells that don't kill me, and I can reap in the graves for value. All right, I'm being bolted. I could be dead here. Going to 13 if they have a rally. And there it is. Yep, they got me. All right, so we lost game number one. <sighs> That's a bummer. But at least in the post board games, I do get uh, flaring pain for the prismatic strands. I was forced to combo early, and it just didn't really pan out. So I boarded in the repeals earlier. I can't help but wonder if I'm supposed to bring in the exhumes for the scobs or bring in the repeals to, you know, beat hypothetical graveyard hate that I'm not even sure that they have. I'll probably just do the same plan I did earlier. Let's try this out. Now we have to win both post board games. All right, game number two, and we're on the play. Uh, I don't think this hand's very good. So we can cycle for a blue. We have repeal. We only have one cycler, and like both the exhum and the ploy aren't good right now. I think this is like a begrudging keep. I really don't love it. All right. I can always cycle the repeal on the Lotus Petal. Inspector. Upkeep. Cycle. Go get the island. Draw. And let's get rid of their clue. Pass the turn. Garrison, sure. All right, 19 draw. And I'm just going to pass. Three mana up. You have a hawk. Nine cards, so they're going to discard two here. All right, and we need to cycle before they're clean up. Cycle Stinger. All right, Cycle Stinger. Looking okay so far. We need more creatures, though. Discarding two cards, Prismatic Strands, and a Hawk. You got it. Um, I think I want to pass here. And then I'm going to play on their end step. Four mana. Battle Screech. All right, I'm just going to play this now because it can't be Pyroblasted. Discard the Petal. Hit that F6 key. You got it. Draw. Cabal Ritual. 
All right, and now we get in cycle a little bit. Glaring pain, okay. Cycle. Go down to one black, cycle this. Let's jumpstart the ploy. Probably should have discarded the pain. Or well, I can discard pain now. Cycle. Cycle the Baron more. We're light on mana. All right. 22 cycle. All right, go down to 20 cycle. These street rates have been good hits. Dark Ritual. Songs. And let's uh, Reaping the Graves. This is Storm 6. Wraith, Wraith. Horror. Healer, Healer. Dark Ritual's good. Cycle. Another Reaping the Graves. Okay. Keep it going. 16 minutes on clock. The fourth Reaping the Graves. <laughs> so those aren't going to be a problem this game. We need to hit mana. Uh, I'm going to leave that for now. Cycle. I need mana badly. Can I please have a scob? Yes. All right. So now we can play scob. Sacrifice it. Get back songs. Cast songs. Exhume. Get back scob. Sacrifice it. Get back songs. We've used one Lotus Petal so far, so we have three left for uh, Flaring Pain plus Stingers. All right, 22 cards left in deck. Wraith, Wraith. Horror. Let's return some Stingers. All right, I'm just going to return everything right now. All right, let's cycle. There's a pedal. All right, now we can beat the uh, Prismatic Strands in the graveyard without needing to flashback Flaring Pain. All right, now we just beat them with that on the stack. All right, cycle. Auto yield, we're at 12 life. Keep it going. Okay, we hit the songs, that's game over. All right, so we just have to win game number three now. Whoops, that was a misclick. I meant to cast the uh, the Cabal Ritual there. Doesn't matter. 15 cards left in deck. All right. Auto Yield. Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual, Songs, and Reaping the Graves. All right, let's quickly just click through. Trying to save some time here. All right, 13 minutes. I mean, 13 minutes is a lot of time. I'm just afraid of timing out. Okay, and then strands is still on the stack. Cycle. Cycle. Keep it going. Eat more. All right. We will kill them before we deck. I am keeping a count at how many cards are left in our library, which is now five and they're at four. All right. Twelve and a half minutes left. All right. Just have to win game three. Whew. 
wonder if I should just have a land in there for consistency, plus, like, one more red source. Let's try this out. Alright, game three, and we've opened up a no-lander. I mean, it's got everything else, but we can't keep that. This is good. We'll keep this, and bottom four? How many street rates is too many? I don't know. Draw. Okay, we're just going to pass. All right, slow start for the opponent. I do like that. Cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Stinger. Draw. Land. Wait, come on. Don't lag on me now. Pass. We want to find Reaping the Graves. Three mana. Hawk, you got it. We picked up three, so they're discarding two. Okay, looting. They worked out well for them. Double strands. Okay, so we're definitely going to need Flaring Pain to win this game. All right, Cyclist Tree Wraith. Let's uh, pull a Swamp out. Cycle Street Wreath down to 14. Not good. All right, we need action. Draw. This is how we lose. We don't draw uh, anything but mana. All right, four mana here. Battle Screech, that's scary. So we're dead to rally next turn. Draw. There we go. All right, Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Come on, Doc. Don't lag on me. Dark Ritual. And that's seven, so it's Cabal Ritual. I need these draws to be good. Reaping the Graves. Wraith, Wraith, Wraith. And then we'll target Wraith again. All right, let's cycle. Come on, deck, be good to me. Cycle. Okay, that was amazing. Thank you. Keep cycling. We do have to beat double prismatic strand still. All right, building up these songs of the damned. Boy, he was actually decent here. And then Stinger comes back. Cycle. Oop. Cancel. Cycle. Cycle that as well. What songs? Scob. Exploit it. Get back reaping. And now I'm going to ploy because I need to cycle those street rates. Another songs was good. I need to keep the red mana because we need to win the game. And uh, they have triple prismatic strands over there. All right, I'm going to leave back one songs of the damned. All right. Let's cycle these. We found the flaring pain. I played a land? I don't even know. And our opponent conceded. Wow. We're going to top four. 8 0. Two matches left. Can we do it? I'm excited. Stick around. Ah, I want this so bad. I want it. Welcome to top four. We're on the draw. And we're going to keep this. This is a hand that has Riverwinder plus Exhum. Let's see how that goes. Swamp. Okay. Island pass. Is this Pestilence again? Uh, it's not really a matchup that I want to face. I think it is. Uh, not really sure what that's doing, but okay. Draw. Not land. Let's cycle Street Wraith. 
That gets swamp. In theory, I could burn my Songs of the Damned to put the Riverwinder in play, but I don't think that's the move. So I'm just going to pass here. Could this be Black Burn? Swamp, okay. Rager. So it's like Monoblock Devotion almost? I think this is Devotion, actually. The, uh... The Grey Merchant deck. So I'm not even sure if I want to put uh, Riverwinder on the battlefield. Draw. I think I just pass. Another Rager, sure. So then we take an attack for three going down to 14. You got it. Okay. Need to find a Reaping the Graves immediately. Cycle Healer. Draw. Hmm. Six cards in Graveyard. Let's cycle the Vantasaur. Another Exhum. So... All right, I'm going to cycle the Stinger. And I hit Reaping, okay. Um, this should probably do it. Songs, Cabal Ritual, Lotus Petal, Back the Petal for Blue. We're going to play Scob. Sacrifice the Scob to get back Songs of the Damned. Songs of the Damned. Exhum, put Scob back into play, sacrifice the Scob, get back Songs. Now we Songs. And Reaping the Graves, is that what we want to do here? I feel like I should Exhum. Scob, sacrifice it. Songs back to my hand. And then we're going to sit on this one. And then return the repository scob. Okay, well that was just broken. Okay, so... Just keep cycling. We do have another island in the deck that we can play. Well, that was a good draw. Uh, to cast the scob. We want to use Lotus Petals for the Stingers. Let's just pull the island out. Man, it's not going to be a choke cold. Uh, and I don't want to draw it anyway. Cycle the stinger. Good deal. Doing well. All right. Keeping it going. Well, ritual, welcome. Cycle. All right, so the next two are cards that I don't really want to bring back before I cast this song, so I'm going to do it now. And now Riverwinder plus Scob. Play our island. Play Scob. Sacrifice the Scob. Pick up Songs of the Damned. Songs. Petal. Reaping the Graves. Return everyone. All right, 22 floating mana. I haven't seen this mono black deck in a while. When I first started playing Popper, it was very, very popular. And I just haven't seen it in almost a year. Play Stinger. Start cycling. They're at 18. If I draw another Lotus Petal, I can play another Stinger. All right, go to eight. Cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. Keeping it going. 26 cards left in deck. All right, not going to complain about drawing Songs of the Damn Dark Ritual, Reaping the Graves, that's for sure. All right, keep cycling. Two Lotus Petals left, it looks like. Auto Yield. Okay. Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, 
I actually don't have that many cyclers here. Uh, we'll go to six and cycle this, I suppose. Cycle. There's a pedal. Um, we can cycle the stinger because I think I'm going to have to reaping the graves, so I don't really have a choice. A ball ritual. Songs. Graves. All right. Just click through. I'm being lazy. I'm just like randomly clicking. I'm going to assume that everything's going to come home here. All right. They're at eight. This should be pretty easy. Okay. And then the stinger. Sacrifice for red. Play stinger. So at this point, the only way we lose is if I'm an idiot and cycle three grades. So I'm just not going to do that. All right. And that's, oh, I have one more. I'm sorry. I was counting my chickens. One more. All right. And that's game number one versus monoblock devotion in the semifinals. We have to win one of the two post board games now. So I don't think the Riverwinder plan is actually that good against them, but I do think having Exume to uh, value game them out is going to be powerful. So I'm going to bring in the Exumes, and it's just that Repository Scab tends to be so good against the Black decks, and this is just like having six Scabs in your deck. All right, game number two, we're on the draw, and this seems like a very reasonable hand to me, keep. Opponent took a mulligan. And now down to five. If I had a swamp, I would consider just turn one horror of the broken lands. I'm not even joking. Swamp. All right, draw. I think I'm just going to go swamp go. Or bear more go. So you could cycle the street rates looking... Or a swamp to spike the horror the broken lands and turn one there's only two swamps in the deck for what it's worth and if you do that you're also making yourself weak to bazooka bog so bazooka bog is a card that i'm worried about losing to draw dark ritual cycle horror the broken lands exhume all right let's hope it lives Cycled Fumes. So they get Reaping the Graves here. Oh, they took Exhum. Okay, so they're afraid of me putting a Street Wraith into play. That's fair. Let's auto yield to this. Three cards in hand. They could also just have a removal spell. Another Suffocating Fumes. You got it. Draw. Let's see if we can go the distance here. A dark ritual would actually bring us really close. All right. Cycle again. Let's cycle a Vantasaur. This is going to be for 12 damage. Get in there. Horror of the beatdown. They're at eight. We have lethal on board. Rager is a blocker. You got it. Oh, no. Oh, it's just Raven's Crime. Um, you can discard Barrymore. Draw. Get in there. They have to block. I think I'm going to pass. So the card that... Uh, trying to, I can picture the card... I want to say it's not divest, maybe dilute. It gets minus one, minus one for each swamp you control. That is a card that could kill horror. Gray Merchant. Sure, so they're going to go up to nine here. We're at 12. It's not nothing. Cycle. Cycle. Lotus Petal, okay, draw. Pray that for some reason they decide not to block. They didn't block. I think we're going to the finals. Cycle. Cycle. 
cycle. That's lethal. No reason not to cycle this. Go get our island. Cycle this. 14 damage. We're going to the finals. I'll see you there. Let's get it. Welcome to the finals. We are facing a Morris again, who's on black, white pestilence, and we're going to keep. Black, white pestilence is not a super easy matchup, so. It's going to be tough. They sometimes have main deck Bajuka Bog. Obviously, you see Duress here. They have Castigate. It's going to be an uphill battle. We did it once, but I feel like that match was a little bit of a fluke. So they'll probably take songs here if I had to guess. Lotus Petal, that's interesting. Draw. Play Baramore and pass. Honestly, that was a win for me. I can't believe they took Petal. Draw. Let's cycle Horror looking for land two. Pass the turn. Another land and pass. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to cycle the one, and if I miss, I'm going to play a pedal. All right, we had our land. That's good. Pass the turn. You don't really want to cycle on your main phase if you don't have to, because they are a Bajuka Bog deck. So it, it leaves you open if you just put all, every, everything in your graveyard. Okay, another campus, and they're passing. Draw. Let's see if we can hit land. Cycle. Cycle. There we go. Pass the turn. Four creatures. I'd like to find a Reaping the Graves. All right, Whisper, you got it. Another Whisper. Uh, I'm holding my breath here. I'm nervous. All right. Not Bajuka Bog. Let's find that Reaping the Graves immediately. Cycle Stinger. Swamp, okay. 44 cards. Draw. Let's play Ploy. Discard Dark Ritual. Cycle. Alright, we have to pass. Ah, that's a feel bad. 40 cards index. We're 33% of the way through our deck at the moment. Our opponent's seen a lot of cards. Uh, plus six cards with the Read the Bones with Night's Whisper uh, effects. Two mana, three mana. Glass, okay. Two mana. Pendant, sure. Basilica, that's fine by me. Draw. Not quite what I wanted. Um, let's jumpstart and get rid of a dark writ. Oh, you're killing me. Wow. All right, we just have to play Lotus Petal and pass. Nothing to do. We're in trouble. They're scrying with this Dark Seal pendant looking for that main deck bog. Put the card to the bottom with the Dark Seal pendant. Okay. Draw. There we go. All right. Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. So I have six creatures. Songs. Why would they pause on Songs of the Damned? That makes me nervous. Cast Songs and then Reaping the Graves. Holding Priority. There's only one card that I can think of why they would hold priority on the Songs of the Damned. And uh, it makes me really nervous and I don't want to say it. So I'll say it after... These resolve. Okay. So I can't think of the name of the card off the top of my head. Oh, Crypt Incursion. Crypt Incursion is it. It's the card that the 
uh, modern mill deck plays. It's the only card I could have thought of here uh, that our opponent might have been holding on to. Let's cycle three wraith. Love the extra reaping the graves pickup. Okay, keep cycling. This would have made six mana, three reaping the graves. So we're getting a little bit of extra mana out of this. All right, let's cycle the Baron more. Another Reaping. I haven't played a land yet, so I can go get another Island. And now that resolves. Um. All right, I'm just gonna cast it. I don't have the mana, I think, to uh, hold priority and cycle again. Reaping the Graves. And I'm just going to bring everyone home. I do think I'm going to try to play um, Adranus Stinger. I want to see what they're holding on to. All right, let's cast it. They hit the battlefield. That's a good sign. Okay. No Doomblade type effect. I guess it would be cast down, but cycle here. 14 is a long way to go. Cycle. 13. I don't know why, but they're making me nervous. All right, keep cycling. Cycle. They're at 10. We do have quite a bit of mana here. Cycle Street Wraith. Cycle the Horror. Cardio Dino. Let's try a Cabal Ritual, see if they'll respond to that. That went. What are you doing over there? Cycle. Dark Ritual. Cycle the Vantasaur. All right, so we have Deterministic now. Dark Ritual. Cycle the Snake. Cycle again. Cycle. You just had nothing the whole time? That's a little surprising. Um... Okay. I mentioned in the previous match that I didn't like the Riverwinder plan against them just because of all their edicts. So I think we do board in the Exhum to help beat Graveyard Hate anyway. I'll just try this out. If you wanted to, you could also board in the Flaring Pain, trying to beat Prismatic Strands. We didn't see Strands last time either, so I'm just not going to worry about it. Okay, this is a hand that's pretty good against Duress, so I do like that. We're going to keep. Hoping for turn one tap land, and then I can play out Petal to dodge Duress. Draw. Okay, well now if they play Duress, I can Ritual and Triple Cycle. Just like we drew it up. Duress resolves. Alright, let's cycle. Cycle the healer. Cycle horror, why not? Okay. Go to our turn. Draw. Play the land and pass. They're on five cards. Six after their draw step. Whisper. Okay. Just Basilica. I get so nervous every time they pause like that. So this could be a go turn, depending on what our draw show here. Not terrible. Draw. Songs of the Damned? Let's see it. Cycle again. Um, I mean, I could try. It seems a little risky. Let's cycle. 
All right, I'm going to pass. Three mana, read the bones. Wow, they just like never draw Bajukabog. I wonder if they even have it. Like, I'm starting to second guess myself. Let's cycle the Stinger. Another Exhum, okay. Be better if we had Scob. We have seven cards. Cycle. Am I crazy for just wanting to put a horror into play? Like, this should keep them distracted a little bit while we try to buy more mana. And if they don't have an answer, it just wins. All right, two mana. Diabolic Edict. Or the Broken Lands back to the graveyard. Greenied Fountain. Okay. Draw. Cycle the Baron more. Cycle Street Wraith. Another Exhum. I'm just going to pass. Okay. Picking up the Reed Fountain. I wonder if they have. Like, why wouldn't they tap out for anything? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Cycle Healer. Like, do they have Prismatic Strands? All right. Let's try this. Exhum. Probably should have played the uh, the songs for a slight mistake. See if they'll respond here. I'm just trying to increase my storm count, so I'm hoping that they kill the stinger in response. All right, songs. It didn't happen. So I just lost out on mana on the song. So that's kind of poor play on my part. And then Reaping the Graves. Yeah, I just lost out on two mana. <laughs> it's like a free dark ritual. Sure. They were very patient on that. All right, so we still have two exhumes in the deck for what it's worth. I know that in game one, we only have the two, but we're up to four. So red mana isn't as big of a pinch. Let's cycle these. Always yield. Yield here. All right. So if we can find Scob, like they just used an instant speed removal spell. All right. Island cycle. Cycle again. All right, we need an action spell. Baron Moor. All right, so this is we have the Baron Moor and the Healer is final draws. Okay. Not ideal. Uh, we have no more basics to get. Cycle this Baron Moor. We're under 50% uh, of our deck. Cycle the Stinger. Now give me another Reaping. Keep cycling. That could do it if our opponent doesn't have anything. If they have another cast down, I just get mega punished. All right, Scob. Well, I guess I could theoretically exploit the healer. All right, so now we get back Reaping the Graves. Return the Scob. That was such a good draw. And now we want to return Street Rates first. One, two, and those are the only two. And then the other creatures. Because if we can find a Songs of the Damned off one of these two cycles, we can keep going. Another Street Wraith, okay. Serpent. There we go. All right, 14 black. We have two Lotus Petals left in deck, and there's another Reaping. That was really good for us. All right, so we want to find, like, another Exhum for the Repository Scob to get back Songs. All right, 18 cards left in deck. 
There's a petal. The ball ritual. Okay. I think we might have this. You know, don't want to count my chickens too early or anything, but it's looking good for us. Cycle. Another Ash Barons. Keep cycling. Dark Ritual. Okay, so then the last card coming back is the Repository Scob. Cycle. 11 cards left. And another Scob. <clears throat> okay, so this is Petal 3 of 4. We do have two Exhumes left. Repository Scob. Sacrifice it. Return Songs of the Damned wherever you are. Okay. Reaping the Graves. I'm going to leave the Scob this time. Okay. And I said I was going to leave that. So now I need to count how many songs are left. One. Two. We have two songs. Jeez. And ten cards left. All right. So we're going to cycle a little bit looking to spike a songs before we um, bring everything back. Okay. And that's the fourth pedal. Cycle this. Uh, that's the last Reaping the Graves. Exhume. Alright, so this is going down to four cards in deck. Ball Ritual. Cycle. There we go. Alright, I'm going to return everything else now. 34 mana is plenty. Okay, so we have to deal 21. Cycle this. Go down to one card in deck. Turn off the auto yields. I think the last card might be another exhume. All right, well, I can't cast multiples of those, so if it is another exhume, I want two stingers in the graveyard. Oh, it was the last songs. I knew that. I'm an idiot. Okay, um, so we're going to exhume back the stinger. I knew that was there. And I will play stinger. And if they kill this one in response, that's fine. Uh, okay, so now we, we're not allowed to draw cards. We can yield here, but we have no deck, and now we just need to win with all of the draws on the stack. All right, cycle. We should have this now. All right, cycle. Oh no, those are the draws. Okay, I was about to auto yield to those. Uh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> My bad. I was like, I thought I auto yielded to that gain life trigger. And then I read it again. That's the draw trigger. My bad. How embarrassing would that be if I lost in the finals because I can't read? All right, so got to keep going. And even though we run out of creatures, I still have these Ash Barons that I can cycle at no cost. Well, I, I mean, they cost one to cycle, but um, like I can't possibly draw off them is what I'm trying to say. They do cost one mana to cycle. Slight correction. Okay. And cycle Ash Barons. The final trigger. We did it. 10 0, the perfect challenge. We did it with brand new Cycle Storm post ATOG ban. Oh, feels good. Feels real good. Thank you for everyone for watching. Uh, Exhumed Scob is just so powerful. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't, checked it out already check out yesterday's video of the idea and concept that got us to this list i promise it's going to be great 
Ah, wow. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. I do appreciate it. Pretty happy about this. My first popper challenge win. I've come close a few times, uh, but this is my first time getting first place. So pretty stoked about this. Thanks for watching. Take care. Keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.